Hello everyone, I'm Sonam Sandhu from PT Made Easy. And in this session, I'm going to focus on five most important tips for scoring well in your read aloud, repeat sentence and write from dictation part. These are the three tasks wherein we have to focus on content, fluency and pronunciation. Especially in the read aloud and repeat sentence part along with retell lecture. They focus on our content, on our fluency, as well as on the pronunciation part. How can you improve these three? How can you score well in these three tasks? And you already know you get somewhere around 44 marks for read aloud. Somewhere around 50 marks for repeat sentence. And again, somewhere around 50 marks for write from dictation. So please do not skip this video. Just try to understand all the five tips and conquer these three tasks. Score well in these three tasks. So let's get started with the first tip. When it comes to read aloud, as you can already see it on the screen, you have to focus more on the reading skills. When we were in school, we were asked to stand up and read one paragraph in the class. I did it a lot of times. But still, I believe there are certain areas wherein I need to work upon. I would suggest you all to focus on reading at fast pace. I would suggest you all to practice the same thing we did during our school days. Read aloud. Actually read aloud. Take any random passage. Take any book. Whichsoever book you like. So, currently I am reading this book, Think Straight, and I am also reading one more book related to time, okay? So, I am unable to recall the name of that book, but both the books are certainly very good, and the name of the author is Darius Forex here. Yeah. I believe I am pronouncing his name correctly, okay? So, now what I do, rather than reading it in mind, okay, rather than doing mind reading, I simply focus on reading these aloud okay so what i do i usually read it at the bedtime okay i simply switch on my reading torch that we get it that we get easily from decathlon so i have that reading torch headband headband with torch okay so i use that then i read aloud and not too aloud but i read aloud so that i am able to hear my pronunciation because others are sleeping that time when i read okay so when you practice the same skill you improve your speaking skills because you are speaking in english that's what you have to do so the first tip here is to read at fast pace okay that's the first tip and here i'll also suggest never do mind reading Okay, never do mind reading. How do you have to do it? Just look at me, right? The development of easy to use statistical software has changed the way statistics is being taught and learned. Students can make transformations of variables, create graphs of distributions of variables and select among statistical analysis all at the click of a button. However, even with these advancements, Students sometimes still find statistics to be an arduous task. That's it. You simply have to read it aloud. That's what you have to do. Read it aloud. When you read aloud, you are improving your speaking skills. You are improving your reading skills. And this will help you a lot in scoring well in read aloud, repeat sentence and retell lecture tasks like such. So practice this a lot. Coming to the second tip. Now, the second tip here is to read at least two pages daily. Okay. Now, I have told you practice reading. Okay. So, when you were practicing reading, you can read any book. But now, I am suggesting you to read the books related to PT exam preparation only. Read the tasks related to PT only. So, simply go for any website. For example, so let's say I am uh, using this particular website and there are so many practice tests already available at the Alpha PT as well and APUNI as well. There are other websites also. 
If you want to know which one is better, Alpha PT or APUNI, you can simply click on the link above to know which one's better. Okay. And if you want any help related to the PTE exam, so my group course, the next group course is starting on 11th December. You can simply join us in that batch. And the fee is as affordable as we can offer you. I'm pretty sure you're not going to get the fee as affordable as we are offering in the upcoming batch. So you can simply join us and for the same contact the number given will. Okay. Now you can get so many practice tests here. Simply click on the practice part. Go for the speaking read aloud part. Now when you click on the same you are going to get so many questions here to practice. Okay. At least 10 to 12. You are going to practice everything one by one. You are going to practice questions like such. Okay. Now, initially, you're going to practice the free part. Later on, you can take the paid version as well. Okay. For example, let's take wildfires. Okay. Now, we get 35 seconds to practice the same. And then we have to speak it aloud. I'm just going to tell you how you need to practice at home as well. Extra tropical forests are globally significant because they store vast quantities of carbon and vegetation. And permafrost. Okay, permafrost soils. Ab many yaha pe here, I was not able to pronounce it correctly because this is the time we have to practice. So please focus on these 35 seconds. Okay, most important 35 seconds go through every word once in order to understand how exactly this is going to happen. Okay, extra tropical forests are globally significant because they store vast quantities of carbon, vegetation, and permafrost soils. Approximately 91% of these forests in the northern hemisphere are underneath by permafrost. When fires occur in these regions, they emit large amounts of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases compared to other regions. Now you have to take care of three things. Content. Your content should be correct. Even when you are practicing any random book as well. Then, secondly, you should focus on the pronunciation, whether you are able to pronounce every single word correctly. And the third thing is fluency. You should be able to speak fluently. You should not take unnecessary pauses, okay, in between. So, that's what you have to do. Practice like this from various websites. You can practice some questions from Alpha PT, others from APUNI. That's what can be done. So, this is the second tip. Practice at least... Seven to eight questions daily of read aloud. Coming to the third tip, where I was talking about repeat sentence. There you are actually focusing on the listening skills as well. How you can improve it. Now, I would suggest you to listen to the podcasts on Spotify. You can easily listen to the podcast related to the academic context. Listen to the podcast on Spotify. Try to understand every single word. And if you do not know how to do that, you can actually take the premium membership. If you do not want to take that, use the free version and listen to a few podcasts. But in order to know the transcript, whether you were able to hear everything correctly or not, I would suggest you to practice the listening part of IELTS exam. I know IELTS exam is uh, tough as compared to PT. But for the listening part, I would simply suggest you to listen to the audio of any Cambridge book okay and then follow the transcript at the back of the book so every single cambridge book book number 9 10 11 13 14 from book number 1 to book number 17 every single book has transcript at the back so you can simply follow what you heard on the basis of the transcript you can go through the transcripts in order to know whether you were able to hear it correctly or not this will help you a lot in improving your listening module this will help you a lot in improving your listening skills because in the repeat sentence part you have to listen properly in order to answer the same sentence correctly i would suggest you to do the same coming to the fourth tip here and the fourth tip is to practice at least 10 questions of repeat sentence in the morning and 10 in the evening. So, 20 questions of repeat sentence on a daily basis. The same also can be practiced from any of the websites. Okay. So, you're going to see so many questions. You can simply do the same. Now, you'll see 
these many questions okay you can proceed further as well there are so many pages here practice as many questions as you can and everything is available here for free okay so simply do this now coming to tip number five and that's the most important one for right from dictation you get somewhere around three to four questions of right from dictation here you are going to listen to a sentence and then you have to write down everything you heard on the screen that's what you have to do i'll suggest you to follow the transcript thing for the same when you listen to an audio or maybe a podcast try writing it down in order to improve your listening skills simply listen to some podcast or maybe some tech talks you can listen to tech talks you can listen to podcast on spotify and try writing down whatever you hear this will help you a lot in improving your right from dictation task and apart from the same i would suggest you to practice at least 20 questions daily of right from dictation now these five tips which i have mentioned in this session will help you guys a lot in scoring well in all these three tasks right from dictation of pt listening read aloud of pt speaking repeat sentence of pt speaking as well as retail lecture so focus on these five tips and score well in your PTE exam. I'm pretty sure if you follow these seriously, you'll get full marks at least in these three question types. So that's all. If you want me to create a video on some other topic, do let me know in the comment section. I'll see you again in the upcoming video. Until then, bye-bye and satsriya.